Hello, and welcome back to Broken Chess, the show that turns memes into reality. I am here once again with Declan Rocket. Declan, how are you today? How's it going? Uh, you know, I'm excited to be here, Aiden. I, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the level of enthusiasm I, I wish I could get from all my guests. It, it's this variant. It's a, it's a very special one. It, it is indeed. Um, we are playing the, uh, the meme, the cliche, what have you, of I'm playing chess while he's playing checkers, uh, which Jack and I have played a couple times before, and it's um, pretty hilariously imbalanced, so I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> seeing that. Um, I've got 12 pawns here representing 12 checker pieces, which move diagonally and capture by jumping. Uh, Declan has his regular 16 chess pieces that all move normally. So his goal is to capture all 12 of mine. My goal is to checkmate his king, which is impossible no. as long as his king stays on a white square. So no. this will um, this will only end one way. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I was about to say, you know, it's like, now you might ask, wait, if it's on the white square, isn't there physically no way for a checkers piece to in any way threaten threaten the king at all, thereby destroying the game? To which I say, yes. Yep. Even <laughs> if the king was the only piece left and I had all 12 of mine, you could still just move white square to white square. There might theoretically be a tie, but emphasis on the theoretical. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so... Honestly, I'm just setting myself the goal of one piece making it to the end of the board and getting king. Um, mm -hmm. I guess I'll just use an actual king for that. I'll drag it onto the board. But um, That's a valid goal. Yeah, Declan, take it away. All right, all right. Well, you know, it's like it's an interesting one to start with because it's kind of like, ooh, like you know, like <laughs> where do I even go from here? But I think let's just do that. All right. Yeah. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. It has. It, uh, and I, I won't lie. That was honestly basically random. Because <laughs> I want to play this like in, if we were both playing checkers, I'd move. Um, it's tough to answer without the coordinates, but I'd, I'd go to the, the corner mm -hmm. and then you'd, I'd be able to jump you in your next move or you'd, but you can just capture me like uh yeah you know <laughs> I, just no, I would get to trade after that um like you'd capture me then i'd capture you mm -hmm. and honestly i think that's that's just what i'm gonna do because i'll go to <laughs> what a5 there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right well you know might as well yeah yeah <laughs> that that only works if you went the other way then i could at least capture you but <laughs> you can't um all right i'll go my other typical opening checkers move there all right all yeah. right that's that's fair yeah. sort of um <laughs> already down one all i and remember you're you're you lose when you lose all of your pieces so you know yep. <laughs> Um, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, what am I going to do? Uh, I will, eh, I will do this. Okay. Now, ordinarily, double pawns at the end of the board would be yeah. a great advantage for me. Um, <laughs> big position of weakness, but mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't matter so much this time. Oh no, not at all. All right. And you'll see, you'll see why I why I made that move momentarily, I imagine. Uh, uh, I assume just to get your rook out and start shopping. Yes, yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> I'll go to the edge of the board there, which is, again, what I would do if I, we were both playing checkers, but you are playing chess. You are several la I, layers, uh, levels above me. I feel, like the, I feel like the rook in this variant is, like, e much more powerful than it is is even normally yeah because um i mean i guess there is the potential that it could um it could still like, capture and then get captured but mm -hmm. like a bishop like your dark square bishop can only attack like it's, it's much more vulnerable similar to when you have like a line of pawns in a, in a diagonal and regular chest, for sure capture the one at the top and then get <laughs> whereas 
yeah, the rook is, is a lot more immune to that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think it's not going to happen, but we could also say it's a win for me if I capture every piece I'm able to capture because I can never capture a light square bishop because none yeah. of them will ever go. Yeah, you square. know, yes, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree agree to that. Like, <laughs> But that's not happening. <laughs> mm, no, it's absolutely not. But, <laughs> but you know, yeah, it's, it's a thought that counts. And, <laughs> and if it does, you should be ashamed. <laughs> anyway, I made my move. Yep. Um, yeah, I really, I don't have a strategy here because I, this is not, like, I, I actually mm -hmm. probably have more experience playing checkers than I do playing chess, but mm -hmm. this, isn't, <laughs> this isn't how it goes. <laughs> Which, you know, in a, in a way, like, makes this all the more interesting, you know? It, maybe, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is, if, no. <laughs> anyway, I make that move. Uh, geez. <laughs> The and any other move I like forward, any other move I make forward mm. would put another piece in danger. Yeah. So you know what? I'll just go over there. I feel like in some ways this this variant is the equivalent of a shit post. Like it's absolutely it's 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 hard to like it. <laughs> it it is how, how it how it is you know i guess is what is what i'll say um oh you know i think that was possibly the best move you could have made i'm not gonna lie i still i won't lie i still just do this but you know but that but still like that that one was valid you know yeah Genuine question, since you you know checkers better than I do, I do. I just want to confirm: regular checkers pieces cannot, in fact, move backwards. Correct. Correct. They have to make it to the other end of the board and become uh -huh. a king. Right. Right. All right. I think that was actually a pretty good move that I made there. Mm -hmm. Going. Yes, that was a solid move. To D six for sure. Anyway, I will then uh, counter and do that move. Um, oh there we go yeah yeah that that makes sense i think i will yeah if that that forward most pawn goes anywhere he's um gonna die so i i have a vague strategy mm -hmm. um because you have a little more space available on the king side there with the pawns out of the way and the rook but it, it's so well like there's still no other square that i could move to and not get captured immediately <laughs> i feel like it's you know, like you know what this broken. is like this is like david versus goliath except if goliath had a gun <laughs> you know like I, I feel like this is basically what it is yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I feel like I'm, I, I'm enjoying this a bit too much. I, I apologize. No, you, you know. take your wins where you can get them, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. You get it. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think uh, do that. Um, that's taken a while. All right, there we go. Oh, and I so badly want to push that pawn forward. Hmm. But it's not a pawn, it's a checkers piece. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a good move, though, going from B8 to C7. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you know, I, I actually might have a chance for some counterplay here. At least capture a couple of your pieces. Like, maybe, you know. <laughs> no, no, you do. You do. All right do that all right and yeah honestly if i capture like a real piece like a, that, i will i will capture a pawn i'm pretty sure but if i capture like if i get that knight or that rook mm -hmm. that's a win uh, that'd be pretty 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 yeah. cool on your part you know that and if i get a king but i don't see how that's going to happen because there really are no spaces for it Mm-hmm.
because you need I need a, a space in the back rank to be um yes empty. and there's there's only two of them and they're both defended so yes yes <laughs> okay here's an interesting move uh, I'll do this move all right I did kind of want you to take that pawn that I just moved so I could recapture you and feel like I was finally <laughs> doing something you, you, you feel a slight, a slight sense of accomplishment? Yeah. However, I think it's maybe okay that you didn't because I do have somewhat of a chance to, um, to push and, mm-hmm. like, and capture a piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's valid. That, that's pretty valid. I will do this. It, they're not going to... Oh, there we go. Finally. Right. I apologize my my connection is causing this. That's all right. Um, okay, I got a couple options here. Definitely don't like what your rooks are doing. Mm. But I think I actually might be in a better position than the last time we played this. Mm-hmm. I've only lost one piece so far. Yeah. Yeah, can I go there? Like, yeah, it's a, you also just don't have a lot of options in uh, checkers. <laughs> I feel like on some level, in order to win, I might have to get to lose like one piece. But at the I same time, don't. I also don't, you know. I mean, you could try the strategy, just putting all your pieces on light squares, but <laughs> except for your dark square bishop. That, that, that feels almost like... like <laughs> Just cruelty? No, not cruelty. But like, yeah, a little bit. Anyway, I will move my bishop there. All right. Uh, we are really fighting over the center of the board here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's almost like like chess. <laughs> almost. Not, really. not quite, but almost. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess I'll just throw another body at the party. Hmm. That's, there we go. So I moved my pawn from a7 to b6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you for specifying that. I think I'm just going to to quote John Rambo, draw first blood for a second and do that, capturing your pawn. Well, you already did capture one of my pawns. Yeah, so so it isn't first blood, actually. No, No. so yeah. Um, however, I finally, so glad you let me capture, I'll jump your bishop there and oh, right. get rid of it. Oh, right. You jump in chess. I won't lie. I genuinely forgot about that aspect of the game. <laughs> oh man. I feel, I feel a little, I feel a little bit foolish in the sense of like, well, that was, that, that was kind of silly of me that I didn't properly think about that but, no, but you know i i might i might get to make a king now <laughs> <laughs> if you don't play it right i think i have a shot uh-huh uh-huh i mean i could can, can, can i be honest with you sure i feel like there are multiple ways i can prevent that from occurring there definitely are yeah like mm. I yeah, it, am, it shouldn't be that hard actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like if if I if I intentionally let you, I can no. <laughs> I am I think I think it's worthwhile. You know what? No, let's actually play slightly smart, you know. That might that might in fact be the way to go. Uh oh wait. Uh, no, no, that wouldn't be. Okay, yes. So, uh the move I make will be that one. What I piece was my, it? I moved my rook and captured that uh, that uh, uh, that checkers piece. It should uh, appear in a second. I moved it from e e six to f six. Okay, yeah. No, e three to f three. E three to f three. Thank you. Sorry. Yep. The, co- the coordinates, I think, are still showing up weird on mine, my end, so it's slightly, but yeah. 
It should. I, I, I don't there know why go. it's not popping up. It's like I. Okay, right. there it is. Finally. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That. Um. I mean. It... Huh. But no, I, I figured given how the bishop doesn't actually, um, it is so vulnerable. I think a part of me was just like, you know what? Let's just. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that was an okay piece to give away. Yeah. Um. Although your light squared one is literally useless. <laughs> <laughs> that is true that is true there is actually no way he can do anything but it also so, means i can never actually lose <laughs> uh yeah so i moved i moved my uh piece from e6 to f5 uh, opposite your rook that just moved all right um um just trying to wait. Can can you could you just circle around? Okay, that that okay. You move you move that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, that's an idea. Um, I think I will in retaliation in a proportional response. No, the, none of those things are accurate. Um, I will just do this capturing another piece of yours all right yeah that was that was a problem um, <laughs> i'm sorry for laughing maniacally at, uh, at this it's just really funny you know yeah i think i think honestly i mean i'm not going to resign because that would be boring <laughs> um and we knew the idea before we even started <laughs> But but in, in, in some ways it's kind of over at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I moved my oh, yeah, yeah. to to e six. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we didn't talk about this beforehand, but can we agree that if your pawns promote, they promote to kings? Sure. Yeah. 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 No, that's that's fair. That's fair. And then um, my checkers pieces promote to queens. <laughs> there's some part of me that almost wants to give it to you but i don't know maybe well, let's cross that bridge when, when we get there yeah i don't think we will yeah <laughs> okay i'm gonna move there all right your other rook there i think my best hope in defense is to go to um d yeah d7 there we go mm -hmm. i think that's um valid Put my pawn up every move that i could make would weaken my position which sucks <laughs> sorry again i'm laughing when i i apologize but i think the one that weakens it the least is to go to c6 there we go that's true um i almost feel sort of bad doing this move but not really um let's just pretend i feel some remorse um i do this yeah, that's what I knew you'd do. <laughs> All right. And I'll go here to D5. I Again, initially... if you let me gain an advantage from it, I can. But if you play smart. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll do this. I'll go to E4. Oh. And I think I'll pick something up from this. Oh, you moved. Uh, okay, you moved the pawn to e4. Yeah. Okay. 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 That that might be my best, most aggressive move of the game. Yes. And again, still screwed, but. Oh yes, yes. Uh, <sighs> there's a part of me that's almost like, do I let you take it or not? You know what I mean? Like, do I give it to you to make you feel better? But at the same time, 
you i don't know if you've ever shown me that mercy before no, <laughs> this is good. no, no. okay okay uh what do i do i will well, what do i want to sacrifice do i want to sacrifice mm, or do i want to sacrifice mm. um i could just sacrifice neither uh <laughs> I think I don't love any move, moves I could make because they're not extremely aggressive and don't result in any pieces lost. But you know what? We should actually play smart. I will move there. I will move my rook out of the way. Oh, man. <laughs> I moved it from there. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Where can I... Yeah, that, that was the best move and, and definitely like gets rid of most of my advantage. Yeah. If you can make a good move, move in this game and that's sort of debatable, that was the best move you could have made. Yeah, but again, it's all these moves are so easily countered. <laughs> um, I'll, go, I'll go there to C6 again. Uh, just naming mm -hmm. the same squares over and over. Yes. Um, I would say to like you know satiate the bloodlust uh, there. Yeah. Capture another piece. And now I'll go there to d5 again. So I have five of my original 12 remaining. Mm. And I've captured only your dark square bishop. <laughs> like the most vulnerable piece imaginable. <laughs> Haven't even gotten a pawn. <laughs> On some level, I did deny that that to you, but like I also don't feel regret over that. No. I won't lie. We knew how this was going to end up. True. True. Um, there we go. Move my rook again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and no secret what's happening next. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But again, I. Th All right, yeah. Just we'll end the game uh, faster, I think, with this. Um, again, yeah. if you don't play it right, I could get somewhat of an advantage, uh, or at least uh, like I could a have minor, a minor, a minor reprieve from the slaughter. Yeah, basically. Um, like I would say, those are the best words to describe it. Um, <laughs> yeah. There is a part of me that almost wants to give it to you, but also. No, you know what? You know what? Uh, let's just, I think, yeah, this will end the game quicker. Take another piece. Yep. And I will get my king. <laughs> you get one king that will take a solid minute or two for you to be able to use it properly. <laughs> what? Uh, boom. Uh, oh, dear. And now I... Like, is it even the best move for me to get my king? I think so. <laughs> I think it still might. In a lot. Well, uh, mm, oh, yeah. I, know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Whatever. I'll, I'll do it. That's the goal I set out for myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, me. that's that's important. You know, setting, setting goals. <laughs> and now there aren't any of my pieces that you can capture this turn. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a reprieve for you. I do still. Uh, I now want to move my king like a regular king, but still can't. I, I don't. Unfortunately for for you, I feel like that really that wasn't set up per se, and so I don't think we can change the change the rules. Oh no, that, that drastically just move like a a checkers king. Yeah. Sure. yeah. All right. I shall. Hmm. I think you could basically end the game in like three or four moves. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because either the only way my king can get out is to get captured. Like it has to move to the square back in front of your knight. And then either one of those other squares, mm -hmm. your knight can take it or your pawn can take it. Mm -hmm. And if it moves next <laughs> to your king, your king can take it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're all right. You, 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 are, you are wrong. <laughs> um, you know, let's just let's just keep it simple. There we are. Yeah. Prolong the game just a little bit more. Go to e four. 
right. All right. You know, that's 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 a that's a fair a fair thing to do. I think I might be able to capture one more of your pieces before this is over. Okay. That, you know, you know, that's 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 you know, good good job, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that was too far. No, um, I will. I'll do that move. Oh, interesting. That's not what I would have thought. Yeah, again, every move I can make, and there's only like three moves that I could make, will um, will weaken me. But that's that's what we we knew was coming. I think it's part of the idea was to like increase the pressure, kind of on on your pieces a little bit that, that was partially why i made the move yeah all right but my pawn up there to f3 i think i think like you definitely will capture it but then it, i will be able to capture whatever piece you use to capture it so i'm calling mm -hmm. that a victory mm -hmm. that's fair and then i'll get to make a second king i think oh no i won't wow. no wow. yeah i will anyway um and then I... you'll capture it but oh well that oh i i thought you would you, you're gonna not let me capture one of your rooks there man come on <laughs> or even a pawn <laughs> yeah so i'm i'm gonna go there i'm gonna get my second king just capture capture that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh yeah go okay i literally have one move it's that king now correct me if i'm wrong Aiden. there's um a move i can just make that would kind of cause a very quick thing is that correct uh i guess that depends on what I mean, I see a, 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 a very quick change in circumstance. But, you know, it's good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh my gosh. It's not letting me capture your king because oh. it's a king and it's putting it technically in. Yeah. So you want to use your king to capture the king that I just made. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't let you do that, but I'll just drag it off the board and Thank you over. There we go. And then I have one move left, which is that. And All then right. you capture it with your king. Oh, yeah. Or you, you don't Again, have to. Again, I, I use my king to capture it with yeah. your king. To capture your king. All right. And while... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's like, it's, you know. Yeah. So that is, I think, the best that I've done. This is, I believe, the third time you've played this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got to make two kings. I'm not sure I even made one in our previous two. I think that's correct. I believe that's correct. That's so, kind of impressive. So well done, Aiden. Good job. Um, I still won. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm living. Yeah, so, so what do you think? How broken? Uh, I, I, I would say this is an unambiguous 10 out of 10 for brokenness, like due to the fact that like, unless you literally bend the rules, one side literally cannot actually win based yeah. on the rules that they're playing by. Like no victory is possible. So, so I, I would say that that's, if that's not a 10 out of 10 for brokenness, I don't know what is. Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, mm -hmm. Can't, but, I can't think of, so George and I tried kind of a, another meme not, mm -hmm. not exactly a meme version, but just another version of chess that was like literally unplayable because we didn't know where all the pieces were. <laughs> uh, and that was 10 out of 10 broken because like we both moved a, a piece to the same square and didn't know the other one had it there. Mm. So there you, go. Uh, there you go. I would say for fun though, it's honestly like, I, I do honestly kind of feel like it's like a nine or like an eight an eight to nine kind of for me like well that is easy for you to say because you've been on the winning side of all of these yes that is undoubtedly a factor in, in it kind of like what i would say that is sort of fun not not just winning it it does sort of feel like oh, I can finally use some of these pieces at their full potential, oddly enough. Like, like the counters innate in chess 
aren't there. And so you get to see like what the Rook is truly capable of. Like that's a weird way to put it, Mm. but I do enjoy that. But again, I'm on the actual winning side here. You know, I think when we've done this before, you got either one of your Rooks or your Queen down to the back rank and you just like gobbled them all up, like went row by row basically. Yes. Um, And for first, good for you perhaps the game took longer because of this but you didn't move your queen at all you didn't use it no Um, no i didn't so that that was nice that i got Mm -hmm. to last a little longer yeah um but yeah it's um it's pretty fun even being the losing person i think if you just view it like if i set myself those kind of somewhat achievable goals of getting a king which honestly is not that achievable you did kind of let me although i feel like i earned the second one um (laughs) And then, I mean, I got to capture a piece. I captured your bishop, which you, you kind of basically just gave away. Because I, I do think for the, the chess player to win, they have to give away mm-hmm. a piece. Um, yeah. Ethan a pawn, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, 10 out of 10 broken. I'd, I'd still say probably 7 or 8 out of 10 fun. Um, mm-hmm. Not yeah, like, like a serious game, serious competition. Yeah. But. Eight, eight out of eight out of ten, I think in general. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you know what you're, if you know what what you're doing going in. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'll have to um, do some thinking of what other uh, chess memes we can turn into. Um, <laughs> something with Ampasant for sure. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. On passant, you you make one on passant, you you literally win like the next two games, like whatever you play. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So if you've got any other chess memes to share with us in the comments, or again, any other versions you'd like to do, uh, please leave those. We'd love to give them a look, and we will see you next week. Mm-hmm. Bye. What?